Constantino. Que vale. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Boxing. Thank you, Alan. And thank you for this honor. Uh, some of you may be wondering why I'm wearing this scarf. I thought maybe it would distract from the purple, you know, marks on my head, which some of you have noticed. Uh, fortunately, this room is pretty dark. Um, this came from a, an accident in my house where I spilled a lot of blood, the Red Sea, as they call it, but everything worked out okay. Um, and I guess I, I was absorbing what some fighters have seen looking into the mirror after the fight. You should see the other guy. <laughs> um, which reminds me of a, an old story. You know you're over the hill when, you mark, when your mind makes a promise your body can't fill. My version of that is, when you hit your 90s, the 90s hit back. <laughs> um, you know, my fa most famous interview for me was after the Buster Douglas upset from Mike Tyson. Buster Douglas was emotionally wrought up after the fight. His mother had died a few weeks before. He had never gotten along really well with his father, who was a pretty good fighter, and had a gym in Columbus. Ohio. And he couldn't speak. I was trying to interview him, but I had the presence at that moment of just standing there and letting his wordless interview play for the camera and the television. It told a better story than I could that he wanted to tell. So there are all sorts of ways to bow to these extraordinary athletes. Some people might imagine that The Floyd Mayweather moment was the apex of my career. Um, I'll happily accept those two men who clapped their hands. <laughs> Going back a little farther, when I was seven years old, my father asked me at dinner if I wanted to stay up late for the fight. Of course I did. Joe Lewis was fighting for more than a heavyweight championship. He was fighting for the dignity and greatness of America, which had been slowly but persistently threatened by Adolf Hitler. Now, we brought our radio into the living room and in the first round, Joe Lewis destroyed Max Schmeling. 
in hindsight, that was a moment when a prize fighter became the greatest black hero in American history up to that point. We've come a long way, and to answer your question, no, this is not Floyd Mayweather. Rain weather. <laughs> um, it was just an old man uh, who was over the hill when his mind makes a promise, his body can't fill. Thank you for your applause and your silence.